Welcome back everybody. We are again standing in the pirate area and today is going to look a little bit less piratey. But I tell you this, having a warehouse, which is what we're doing today, is going to make this place look really, really cool. And for that, I think we have to discuss something very important. This is very, very crucial stuff. Now, uh, listen closely. This warehouse, it, it, it holds some stuff, some very important stuff for this place. And very important for many different ways. And also, by the way, before we get on anything with this warehouse, we need the warehouse here. We need a way in. So how about we start off with that? Now, there, there are some very, very important things that we have to think about before we get any further with this. And, and that is really what is inside this warehouse. Now, I, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not let in with, uh, with what's going on in here. But I've got some idea. And I've got some idea what may very well become stored in here. But I'll give you some hints. There are, there are, by the way, these things are amazing. There are some very, very important things that are going to be used in the building of this pirate colony, which isn't actually a colony for pirates, but it's a, it's a colony that's been taken over by pirates. So I guess a pirate colony really isn't the right thing. So, uh, yeah, carry on. We'll, we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> but you get what I mean. So there are some very important things that we need to do here. And today is when we start the work of getting these important things in. First thing is, I'm picturing some... And for people who may have perhaps missed the last episode, I'll fill you in. There is a area over here, this bay, which I've got some fantastic names. And there's actually a funny name, uh, which I don't even know was intentionally funny, but I, I thought it was hilarious. And I'll, I'll speak to you guys about that soon. Just uh, just hold up. But with this over here, what, we, what we've got is we've got this place where on this island... There is an outpost which was colonized on the island uh, for some reason for trade, I'm assuming. And pirates have taken over. And as we go on, of course, we need the whole world to have the the first stuff that gets taken over. And kind of think of it as uh, as a house burning down. And I think I actually used this, I actually used this uh, in the last episode. And, and it's kind of a weird analogy to be using. But uh, you'll, you'll see it. It's, it's not as bad as it sounds at first. It's like, it's like a, a house on fire. I feel like that's like a, a real bad analogy for anything, but it's, it's in a good way, which is kind of strange, but just, uh, just trust me. It's good. And when you think of a, a, a burnt down house, give me that. When you think of a burnt down house, I, at least I, I generally think of, uh, how I'm going to be building. And this is specifically in Minecraft, not, not in real life, in Minecraft. I, I probably should have specified that slightly earlier, but here in Minecraft, we've got ourselves a house that we want burnt down. Would it be easy to build the house pre-burnt? Or would it be easy to build the house and slightly burn it down to make the house look a bit better? And that's what I'm kind of getting to. Is, is we need to make the area and then we got to break the area. Which is going to be building this area up. And uh, and if you if you guys don't... Uh, well, if you fail to see what I'm, what I'm getting to is... We need to make the area over here, the colonized area, and then we've got to take it down and we've got to make it what we actually want it to be. So that's that's the the sort of thought of this. Now, while we're going with this, uh, I've, I've got myself all these because I was having to look at these and these are fantastic. I want, I want to start messing around with these coral blocks a bit better than what we've been doing so far. And what I was thinking would be good is to give this one a try, the purple one, which is actually... And excuse my pirate speak, uh, chunk o cyst corar, and I, I'm terrible with the R's at the end. I can probably get. Uh, so that is the cyst coral, and it's uh, it actually is quite pretty. Now I do have feather falling on. Ooh, uh, what is blockades? Okay, that's right. Oh, I think that's uh, protection. That's right. Actually, there's some really funny ones. Look at that. The touch, unlike ye pirates, ye pirate hands. I'm terrible, but uh, yeah, that's it. Very very cool stuff. That's silk touch. So getting onto these, I want to I want to start using these as the 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 bricks that we're going to be using for this building, and that means we could really have buildings, and obviously we can do some variation in here, but we can have buildings with different coral bricks, and they each look like their own type of brick or or, or rock, I guess is the word. And I know that that's that that's like that, but we'll we'll figure that out now. So before we figure that out, I think uh, what will be quite important is to at least get this place built up and get this place. Uh, somewhat of a, as, as I said in the last episode, a canvas, and this will be our canvas to work on. But before we go any further with this, I've got some, some stuff to figure out about my old trident. Enough about that trident. I've been getting a lot of these weird trees, and that's, that's actually the way they're generated. Very, very strange. But that's right. So this trident, we, we started off last episode without a trident. We ended off last episode with this beautiful thing. Now, I've I've been exploring my island. We've just come from the, the north side there, looking for something to test this out on, because I've actually not given this a try at all. 
like at all. And I can see our victim. I mean, uh, assistant. That's it. Uh, now let's just quickly let, before we go any further. This is this is the time where we discovering, we testing, and there are a few questions that are left unanswered. How strong is this thing? It says. Uh, 1.1 speed and 9 attack damage. This is 1.6 speed, so this is slower, and 7 attack damage. So this thing is a monster. This thing must be an absolute monster. And I know that you can throw, the, throw it, and I know that you can... Oh, okay, come on. That was not very smart of me, I realize. I realize I am not being very smart on this uh, in this world doing that, but... That over there is, is something quite impressive, without any level of, of power on it or anything like that. So if that is the case, I could critical hit this one, but if I could, with one hit, and I think I should be able to kill a sheep, but uh, the pig, that's not a sheep, very odd looking sheep, it's a pink sheep guys, alright, pink sheep, say goodbye, oh no, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, come back, come back, come back, come back, I didn't mean to say goodbye, yeah, yeah, thank you, so I just wanted to poke you in the face, uh, poke you in the face, okay, that, uh, that was alright, that was fine, now, what I want to do, here, here is the thing. We, uh, we don't have any other volunteers. Uh, so, ooh. Okay, now, you know what, I'm, I'm getting distracted here, but I have never seen a flower in, what is this? A, just plain forest, uh, no, sorry, a, a mushroom in just a plain forest. I, I don't think I've actually ever seen that. Very, very odd. Now, the next thing is, can we critical hit this? And if we critical hit it, we will know we're critical hitting it because we should see stars around it. So, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Because they, they end up ruining our day. Oh. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry, pink sheep. Now, <laughs> we're going to have to go find ourselves uh, another variant of these, these sheep-like creatures. Ah, there we go. Uh, it, you. You will do. Miniature one. Uh, now, what I'll need to do is I need an area above me that's allowing me to jump. So I can see if I can critical hit these ones. Now, I'd imagine that the bow, critical hitting, should... Hey, I'm not doing this for your comfort. Come back here. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> the sun's going down, which makes everything even better for me, right? So I'm trying to test some stuff out here, and you just don't want to cooperate. Now, if we see stars around this, it means we critical hit with a punch. Just get get in here, chicken. Okay. There, 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 there. And... I didn't see any stars. Uh, I'm guessing critical hits are not a thing, unless I just messed that one up. We need some more. We need more, but we do not have uh, daytime. So night night vision goggles, if we need it, I will I will do some adjustments. But for now, I think we're all right. Uh, okay. So here, I just want to give one more one more tap a go. It's critical hitting, but I can't see any stars. For instance, we, we hit the last pig with one hit and nothing happened. I just hit both of those jumping. Let me just make sure. If I do this, yeah, look at that. So it needs two of these. In fact, I should be able to just punch it with a piece of steak. Yeah, that, that is some odd stuff. Now I've got to admit, I didn't do too much of the structure, but I think we've got some very important stuff done. I've managed to get the good shape in the door. We need to remove those pieces there and then we can keep going on with the structure. You see the, the door is is the the entrance to all of the great things that are coming here. Coming here, I guess that would be a horrible thing to carry on with the entrance to that. That's like a the most cliched of a metaphor I could have possibly used. But you get what I mean. The, the, the door is actually, in some weird respect, a very very important part of this because it actually allows us to to put a bit of interest in this place, where walls are kind of they walls. You know what I mean? There's 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 a, a lot of conflict between doors and walls. I'm sure. But uh, this this is this is where they they have to meet up and work together, and uh, and it looks like they're doing just that. So I've got some thoughts on on this, and what we have to do is we have to get these in here, uh, these little pillars up on each side, and then that's what that's what we're getting up to now. Now as we go through, there were some great comments on the last section uh, and uh, last section last uh, episode, and the reason for that why I, I say they're great is because I asked you guys for some great ideas on the the name of the the bay and also not only the name of the bay but the the ideas for what we could be having in this town and there there were many many now I'll, I'll quickly tell you some of mine that I I have either come up with or I've seen and uh, I know I think they are fantastic a crashed ship is is something that I've thought about uh, for for a while in this place and I think it's a great idea because and how does that look by the way 
Yeah, it looks supporty. Uh, the whole idea of a, a crashed ship is it allows us to have a uh, a bit of a, a, a like kind of salvaged thing going on, which is uh, is something that brings pirates to mind. You know, you think of these these broken down villages with a whole bunch of crazy people going crazy and uh, doing piratey things, and I, I think that's that's what I get at least when I think of these areas. And, and that's what I'm, I'm picturing with this area is a whole bunch of, of salvaged materials, ships that have crashed because pirates are, uh, well, they're pirates and they've taken over. Of course, we have to also leave a bit of, a bit of, an, a bit of land that has been destroyed, a bit of buildings that have been destroyed, collapsed and, and just neglected. So as I say, this kind of ties in with what we were doing. Now, I've kind of got distracted here. What was I doing? Ah, yes. Yes, I know what I was coming here for. Uh, but but that's what I'm thinking is we have to we have to think ahead we have to think about breaking stuff down and doing all that sort of stuff. Now I want to I want to do something that uh, was also great to see in the comments, uh, which was uh, Jancy, you're actually doing a great job with the colors you chose, which was actually very surprising. So thank you very much, guys. And uh, some of the colors which I was getting a little bit a little bit concerned. And normally normally yes I do something and they're like. You know, you, you see in the comments, it's uh, Jancy, you're, you're so wrong, these colors are terrible. But for some reason, uh, and the two that I thought would be the, the worst out of everything I've ever done, which is Acacia in in the non-log form and also the uh, jungle in the plank form, I thought, you know what, no way I'm getting away with this. Someone's going to tell me, Jancy, those are horrible, never use them again. But you know what? It seems like I might have been onto something, and we've got a whole bunch of people who are loving these blocks and and at least giving them a try. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you very very much. And, and by the way, this is the block I was thinking of. A bit of, a bit of strip jungle, just to just to go make you guys a little bit more comfortable. Those who 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 doubt me. <laughs> but uh, you know how it is. We'll we'll see how we go. If we don't like it, we'll keep we'll get rid of it. Uh, if we like it, we'll keep it. So there we go. Now one two three. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking a big window here. We'll, we'll just go for a very basic sort of window. I keep trying to pick block these. One, two, three. And I keep trying to pick block them as well. And a little bit more over here. And, and this is going to be a big place. I understand that. And the reason for it being big is it needs to, it needs to kind of cut off this side, make you not really want to go and explore here just yet. We want to, we want to keep the focus on here and have some stuff kind of framing in what happens in the bay. That's, that's the area, the idea for the end. But for now, it's, it's, it's also just because I want to get some large, large area to, to store the goods that, uh, that we bring here to build our pirate, our pirate cove. Now you guys and, uh, the, you guys here, uh, please, can you help me out and help me out there? Wonderful. Fantastic. And not that one, but pro jumping. That's it. And we will get these there. That was, I was actually kind of surprised. I'm kind of impressed with my, I'm impressed with my own stuff. So yeah, I've probably lost some of you guys on this. I think you guys are saying, Jancy, this thing's not working. It's working. It's working guys. Trust me. It's working. Uh, two more of these and one, two, and there. I don't like to waste. I like to make sure I use all of them. And there we go. In fact, you know, we'll, we'll decoral, coralify these here. Just go up, 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 up. And I've also got another plan, which, which requires me to use a bit of this, these guys here, which I love using as windows. A little, little known fact. Well, I think a lot of people actually know it. It's a good fact, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great one at it. Is, is using these, these, uh, these fences is a great way to make windows without actually using glass. And, and sometimes the glass is a, a horrible looking thing. Sometimes it's great. Personally, I don't like the, the very boring see-through glass. It's kind of ugly to me, but the rest of them actually work pretty well. So here we go. Before we go out, and uh, I did promise you guys that I was going to test out some... Hey, what? what have, oh, my boat's all the way there. I ran back. Uh, I was I was going to test out some things with the, the Trident, and I think we were going to do that now. But before we go any further, can I please swim out? Am I swimming? I feel like I'm... Come on. You gotta, gotta get... Do some lengths in the pool, and you will be swimming like a legend in no time. Ooh. That is looking very cool. So, so there's a few takeaways before I go and uh, go play around with the Trident. We have to... Get away. Am I not being attacked for some reason? It's like a, a party. <laughs> These are like some guys just headbanging. Look at that. High five. High five. Do it again. Yes. Great. 
Great build, Jancy. Good job. What the heck is happening here? They kind of broken. I guess it's because I'm probably... Nah, I'm not even swimming. I don't know. Uh, but that's right. So what I was thinking is we need to pull this out here a little bit further towards us. And that will mean that we'll be able to make it a bit more interesting in general for the build. So think about that. This is flat. We pull it out in front of us. It's not flat anymore and it looks amazing. Now on a way to our boat, there are a few things that I'm wondering about this. There's, there's many questions I have and many, many unanswered ones, which I don't even know if I'll ever get answers. In fact, you know what? Let's just do this. F3G, it's on a chunk. Confirmed. Thank you very much. Uh, chunk limits shown. That's actually kind of a... I like that ship fixer over there. But uh, it's kind of a pity because uh, it, it says chunk limits hidden. That would be pretty cool if I could actually see what they... <laughs> what the, the pirate speak would do. So, uh, no pink woolly sheep around. Fair enough. In fact, I haven't seen a, a woolen... Like a pink wool sheep, which... Someone's gonna say, Jancy, they don't come pink. They do. I swear they do. For real. For real this time. They do actually exist. But I haven't seen one of them in forever. Uh, so, what I've known is that you can throw this thing. Uh, oh. Uh, can I pick it up? Please tell... Oh, thank goodness. I, I was kind of... I was kind of worried a little bit. So, I'm not too sure how far it goes. But I would imagine that when we were speaking about critical hitting, this over here would be your closest thing. And, and I guess... Yeah, I can cancel it. It'll be good to just see. That's on 131 toughness, which is actually durability. How high does this thing go? Oh no, I've lost it. Okay, it's coming down. Great. Okay, that's actually all right. Like it's it's got some good distance on it. I just want to make sure. Actually, yeah, let's check what that comes down to. 130. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get this to hit us in the face. Is that stuck? No, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, out and uh, it kind of bounced off, bounced off that, bounced off the noggin. All right, great. And and look at that, an achievement. It's uh, a throwaway joke. Okay, great. Uh, what is that? So a throwaway joke. Throw your sword at the. Oh, that's actually that even that that does everything for for this. I I wonder how this do do they literally rewrite everything in Pirate Speak? Throw your sword at oh the sea. Okay, I, I I'm terrible at that, but at something. No, throwing your treasure is a bad idea. Yes, I'd agree. I would, I would completely agree. Uh, so there are some things. This is from the comments, which is fantastic. And by the way, uh, strike a land lover with God strike. Oh, I think that, I don't know what that is. I'm not too sure what it's actually called, but uh, you guys can let me know in the comments, of course, because I'm not actually very familiar with all the enchantments. Let's take our boat. Uh, but, and, and I want to actually throw this at something besides my face. Uh, there are some uh, things in the comments which you guys suggested. And, and one particular comment had literally every one of these. And everything was kind of spread out around others. And that was mending. Of course, mending's like everything's best friend. Then after mending, it was unbreaking. Top, top idea. Great idea. Those two combinations. You can't get them wrong. Look at that. Another one. Broken trees everywhere. Uh, then after unbreaking... Loyalty, which is basically, if I remember correctly, which I'm pretty sure it is this one, when you throw your trident, it'll come back to you without you having to go pick it up, which is a fantastic idea. Now, there are some other enchantments, and I'm not too sure about them, but but those were the three that seem to be common. And the one that was suggested out of all of them was impaling, which is, I think, uh, the equivalent of, of uh, sharpness, as far as I can tell from people. And by the way, this is actually where I, I, I found our first turtles. Right over there. You can see the, the place I dug out and everything. Uh, but but those are some pretty important ones. Now, I know that there are some that allow you to shoot through the, the water and through rain and stuff like that. And uh, and fly through, basically, I guess is, is a better term. I think they will be absolutely amazing to have. And I'm, I'm sure there are a few that can't stack. So we'll, we'll get something cool. I don't even know if impaling counts with others or what, because I didn't see anyone suggesting those. Uh, plank, not you. Whoa, that, that was fast. It was kind of uh, a little bit freaky. But yeah, those are great ideas. And thank you very, very much for them. I, I think we could throw this as a, at a turtle, but I feel a bit a, a bit mean throwing it at a turtle. Like, they they, they just hopeless little things. I, I would feel horrible doing that. So let's find ourselves something else. Uh, and in fact, we can see how far this thing can go. And we can maybe go collect it. So can I throw this at that wall? Okay, it fell kind of down. So I, I think it's got a similar sort of path. It may be a little bit less drop than than a bow. And and excuse me for not knowing a lot of, the, of this stuff, guys. I've actually purposefully, well, while the snapshots were coming out for 1.13, I was keeping myself away from, from it. At first, because I couldn't get on. And second... 
Thank you. Uh, and secondly, because I, I feel like these are probably going to do the same damage. Uh, thrown or any other way. Okay, there we go. And secondly, because I was trying to trying to make sure I could at least experience them for myself and not have to not have to see everything through other people experiencing them, and, and I can kind of have some mystery to the game as well, which is definitely really really cool. Chicken? Nah, nothing. No luck. Uh, but but either way, I think that's a pretty neat thing. We've we've experimented with this. Now the next experiments are uh, are getting some more and doing some big big deal enchanting on this stuff. And stepping back, getting back from our trips. Look at that. Fantastic. I think it's going great. Now, of course, there are a few things which we need to do to it. I, I've, I've pulled this out, as I said. We now have this piece looking good. And now we have to get a little bit of our hat on this thing. And we, we can call it, a, call it a shop front or a warehouse front, uh, for that matter. But, uh, but I'm thinking this, this warehouse may very well need a friend. And, uh, and I might have to get to work on that. But I think getting the, the first little bit of it done is very important before we move on a bit further. And in fact, actually, uh, might I just add how much of a, a Frankenstein of an area this is. Unfinished, I did not even mean to break that. Unfinished area here as of last episode. In this episode, I, I think we're going to need to clean up some stuff. But uh, that's not happening today. We'll, we'll have that happen at some, at some stage. And I also want to just do this. Because this is my great idea. Which I think is great. I hope it's great. We'll, we'll see soon. Now, can I pillar up with... I'll, I'll pillar up with these first, to begin with. And I also want to put a window in on the top there. I've, I've realized that's what I want to do. It, it's going to look way better. Just trust me. Just uh, give me a second, and uh, and you guys will be believers of this, this crazy cool thing. First thing is, I'm going to do this. And I, I'm busy doing it now, thinking, you know what? There are, there are some things which you might not have considered that are probably some good things to consider. And that is, of course, uh, you can see through glass. And you're probably going to see the edges, so I might have to pull that out a bit further. So, over here... Okay, be smart about this, uh, Jancy. You don't want to mess up anything. You've been doing pretty well. Pretty good. So, is this the center? Maybe we'll go over here, and we will... Go up to there, yeah? Two... That'll be, that'll end up being too tall. In fact, we'll, we'll go for something lighter, because we're using some jungle by itself here. It means we'll get something a little bit different. And these here. And I'm going to just go ahead and commit to this. So if we, we put these in the back. I'm kind of picturing this to look like windows that have been sectioned off. Although it may very well not look like anything. And we we really didn't do anything spectacular. But it means we at least get to try it. And we get to figure it out. And of course here is everyone's favorite part of the day. Roof building time. Which, which is in fact something that is super important. Where do I want this to come? I think if we could... In fact, I, I think I'll maybe, I'll, I'll probably frame this off, but if we could, we'll probably do something like that. Take uh, that one there, and do this there. Oh, I don't have any on them. And, oh, this this thing. There we go. I'm going to have to get used to this. Still a few things 1.13. This this crazy, crazy update uh, has not got me used to, and that is one of them. The the pick blocking that I do all the time. I just, I just can't get it through my head. You know, it's just sometimes, sometimes... It's not going to work. You're going to start putting stuff off your heart by, and, and I should have learned that by now, but I have not. So we'll we'll just do this. And, and by the way, today, I, I guess you guys have realized, we're, not, we're, not, we're doing the front of it, realistically. It's not going to be the whole warehouse. Man, that's a big deal. That's, this is a very big deal, this warehouse. It's storing some of the, the finest goods. We can't mess around with that. And I think we actually have to come one more forward here because of this block, which is which is all right. And, and by the way, here we go. Here is the Jancy tip of the day for for your for your your avid builder or your your amateur builder or your your learning builder. Think of it that way. Uh, one thing that I would suggest with building roofs, because everyone always tells me that roofs are horrible and all that stuff. Oh, and by the way, look at this. I found this out. I got told about this. You can now place blocks like that. Now, I, I don't know if that'll be similar to when you place them and you fall through them. So I'm not going to test that right now. Uh, but here is the tip for roofs. Is you don't have to go complicated to get a good looking roof. You can sometimes just go ahead and do something very, very boring. Very, very basic. And get away with that. And I think today, uh, I'm, I'm, I've got a pretty good hunch that we're going to be able to get away with something kind of boring and bland. Without having to go, go too crazy on the roof. So before we go down, I'm just going to use the trimming block that we trimmed the doors with a little bit uh, with this over here and a little bit over here. Get rid of this and you, you, and make some room for some of my little friends. Wonderful. 
And now we can actually go check it out. The, it's kind of like this big reveal. The drums are rolling. The blocks are breaking. The boat is right beneath us. Over here somewhere. Uh, boat. There we go. And, uh, and now we can actually move away. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> But uh, but really I think I think this is gonna look good I've got some good feelings about this and and I really like the door because of course there's that one amazing block oh, Looking good looking very very good. I might even pull this down a little bit What, what I think is important now. Like, let's just picture this right. You're you're a shipping you're a ship owner You're delivering some stuff and you come across you see the warehouse over here probably another warehouse I'm thinking I'll push another warehouse back there back there like that. These are going far back you got some stuff happening here, some crashed ship in there, uh, some crazy town that looks like it's it's basically one stage away from becoming that burning house that we mentioned earlier, just burning down to the ground, just because these guys are so crazy. That's what we're gonna go for. Also, I'm thinking maybe overrun with a little bit of a uh, little bit of nature overrunning this place. Uh, but for today, you know what? That will be a great place to end it off, guys. Thank you so so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I've actually had an absolute blast just trying out new things, messing around with that, realizing now that that is completely pink and that is completely different colored to the normal jungle, which is going to bug me forever, but I love it. Either way, so thank you very, very much for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you very soon.